Welcome to Corey Chooses Colon. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's disgusting. <sighs> That's disgusting. Today, ladies and gentlemen, as it is our birthday week, and as all women, I do have a very feminine feature, so I yeah, you do somewhat concern myself. You're and basically a chick. Basically raised by two women, whatnot, blah 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 blah. Oh, she's standing by your side. We will be choosing my birthday meal, my go-to move, my all-time favorite fast food meal. Am I gonna tell them, or is it gonna be a surprise? How are we doing these intros, guys? Press one if you'd like. Ding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do today is a McDonald's meal, my all-time favorite. I've done it probably half a billion times in my life. Yeah. Two McDoubles, one medium fry, and a drink of your choice. <laughs> damn delicious, it's <laughs> damn heaven. It's about to be in my <laughs> damn stomach real <laughs> damn shortly. <laughs> I like how you bypass it being like chewed and enjoyed. You're like, I want it inside me. Happy birthday. So if you're the type of person that likes to watch two white dudes eat McDoubles in a car, oh, today be a lucky day. <laughs> When I lived in Florence, Italy for a whole summer, my house mom would make like us food. And I'm such a fat ass. I would eat that food with my three roommates and then we would all go to the McDonald's down in like the city square in Florence and eat another full dinner. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's culture. We've got four McDoubles, two medium fries, and one large diet Pepsi acquired. Jump cut. Coke. You guys, I need to apologize. It obviously wasn't a Pepsi. <laughs> As a Coke, I I feel like I failed you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the most sincere apology I've ever heard in my life, and that's sad. Turn down ISO. A couple of McDoobs. That's fry time. It was the best of fries, it was the worst of Two fries. Two McDoobs. Oh, I keep. I'm always like, where am I going to put my food? And then I'm like, what do I got on here? Stop it! Get off me! My dad used to always go, get off me, Jack! Like, cause my, I think his dad used to say that as like an exclamation because he was born in like the 20s. Yeah. So my dad would like imitate him. Get off me, Jack. That's I'm like, dad, I don't think that's, that's weird. That's such a like, that seems like something you would say in the 20s, right? My dad would basically just always troll his dad and like, my, cause my grandpa just had the weirdest exclama exclama exclamations and would be like, Judas Priest. <laughs> Do you think you can major nowadays in college in YouTube? In like videography Dude, I, for the web, almost guarantee there's a school how to make has, a thumbnail that like, has that class. You have to imagine, right? Which is hilarious because I taught myself this. <clears throat> shit. Don't, don't, you, don't you do that, Ricky Bobby? McDouble, it's a classic. It's uh, some would say it's iconic. Some would say that. Oh, look at all those onions, dude! I love the onions on the McDoobs. Dude, I heard somebody Although, the other day I in line at McDonald's pickle. say, "No onions on my McDoob." Get out of my I face! I wanted to like creep up and go, "Can you put those extra onions on my McDoob?" Yeah, take his onions and throw them on my McDoobs. Now Corey's doing what you should be doing. If you're not doing it, why the oh. f do you get up in the morning? Look at this weird little pickle tried to sneak its way on board. Nice try, you're off the gravy train, brother. I'm taking all those pickles. Peace be with you. Look at that. Potato on the hoof. It's like a cow ran through a potato field. It's got potatoes on its hooves. But it was running through a potato field at the time. It's got some potato on its hooves. Good old Jackie Black. How do you explain to somebody how good McDonald's fries are if they've never had them? I you know. know. You yeah. know how like if that's like trying to explain color to a blind person. Yeah. You ever tried to do that? Imagine the guy who tried to do that. Oh, you gotta hear about this color what stuff. What do you mean? Red? It's like the color apples. I I've never seen an apple. Well, that's that sucks. <laughs> Get out of my burger, you fries. Oh. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. Never gets old. How does it make double taste so good? I'm trying to pinpoint what it is about it that really makes it so great. The beef tastes good. The cheese is so melty, and then that ketchup and mustard with on all the flavors just go together, and all the flavors pop so well together. Mm -hmm. And the burger itself is pretty soft, so like when it's you go to meat. bite it, it's very good mouth feel. Mm -hmm. The texture, mm. there's nothing like it. No, you can't get a burger anywhere that's like that. Mm -mm. Seriously, nothing added onto it other than like the onions and just everything the way it goes together. Mm -hmm. There's not a single thing that I eat at a fast food place that tastes like this. Right. And I love it. These are the last two people I want to have to stare at while I eat. This is a thorough, thorough bummer. This guy's literally scratching his upper crotch area mm -hmm. with his thumb. His top pubes. And the woman that he's speaking to is shaped like an actual egg. <laughs> Look at that butt. Look at that nasty butt, dude. What fast food place do you think has the worst cheeseburger? Here. Gotta be KFC, right? Just they gotta. <laughs> you see my face? Gotta be KFC, right? 
Is it my face? I just thought of the answer. Hmm. Sonic. Oh yeah, yep. Sonic's burgers. Remember when we had the fiery cheeseburger oh, and we suck. Mm, that was pretty weak. <laughs> yeah, Sonic for sure. Answer is Sonic Drive-In. Mm -hmm. This is so much bread, I mean. Dude, I'd be liking this. That's so great. Patreon folks, don't forget, we're coming up on uh, the end of September. Yeah, man, this year. Quit flying by. No kidding. So we do our giveaways at the end of September, so if you want to get in on that, all you have to do is donate a dollar. We'll see who all's uh, payments get processed on the first and next month. We just did our drawing last week. Yeah, we're giving out gift cards. Throw a buck on Patreon if you want and you can get it. It'd be dope. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Meanwhile, back to where life was created. <laughs> yeah, the birthday story. This is how I spent my first birthday. In the sink, covered in warm water because apparently if I take sulfa, which is a drug of some sort, I'm not really sure. I just know that I have to tell people when I go to the hospital that I can't do sulfa. I don't know what it's all about. Okay. All of my joints, every single one of my joints swells up. <laughs> I wish. Oh. All my joints swell up. What if when you took sulfa, all your joints in your apartment got bigger? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, give me more sulfa! <laughs> so your joints swell? All my joints. You would be allergic to something called sulfa. And the only thing that made me feel better was apparently was putting me in the sink and I was covered in hives and they were trying to sing me happy birthday and there was this video of me just being like, Ugh. and then my mom- Can you find that clip? <laughs> I should see if my mom has that. And then my mom got a child protective services called on her because when they took her into the hospital, anytime anybody would go to t touch me because I was in, I was so sore from all my swollen ass joints, I would I'd go, Ugh! so they thought my mom was beating me. Oh my God. And so then they made me talk, or like made her talk to Child Protective Services because they thought my mom was abusing the shit out of me. Terry. Pretty funny. That's really funny. Also, I'm glad this one, your birthday is a little bit better than that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure they were just like, this Salem light smoking, but she definitely, you, you don't smoke Salem lights and not be beating on your kid, you know? <laughs> I love her. Every break at Kroger's is what I got. Two McDubes. Two McDubes and a medium fry. All were on the dollar menu at that point. Three bones. What a life. What a life, dude. Couldn't put on weight back then. Well, three and a half hours of football practice every day will do that. Yeah, right? I, I forget sometimes, like, all I did was come home and go play basketball or football. Also, no one in my entire family is fat. I don't have a single person in my whole family who is overweight. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. My dad, his brother, his brother, my mom, her sisters, all my cousins, all my aunts and uncles, no one is fat. All right, pretty good. Isn't that nuts? Mm hmm Literally not one person. Wagner shied's pretty good. My real dad's a goddamn house. I like to tell how the first time I saw him was in the, there's like a name for the court, like child. Oh. Like child court or some shit. I don't know, when you don't know your dad and you go to court, whatever that court's called, it was on the second floor in Toledo. And this- he took the elevator. Fat bastard, huffing and puffing, coming up those stairs. <laughs> I can just tell it was his fat ass, me <laughs> my dad. Fat bastard. You didn't get those jeans. No, I lucked out. Thank God. I look so much more like my mom. How weird would it be? You do look a lot like Terry. What? Eat it, bitch. It's always good. <laughs> that was perfect. You guys are the same person. I know, right? We nailed that. We're, I want to see that. Wouldn't it be weird if I looked just like my dad but never know him? Yeah, that would be weird. I seriously look nothing like my real fat dad. <laughs> I seriously look nothing like my real fat dad. <laughs> Man, dude, this has been such a good birthday week. And we got a yeah, nice surprise I feel for really good. <laughs> yeah. Just like on your birthday, though, you shouldn't feel good. It should be a mix between like self hate mm -hmm. and like still satisfaction. Like you should be satisfied in your self hate. Like yeah. that's what I feel that's like your birthday should really be. That's actually a really good synopsis of what it should mm -hmm. feel like. Too also, deep, though. Great word, synopsis. Yeah. Or synapse. Man, the people watching in the city is so weird. I mean, you guys should just come to Chicago and just sit on a corner with us and we'll just commentate. I always want people to see what we're talking about, but I don't want to point the camera at strangers. Right. That's why we paint such vivid pictures with our mouths. Like like the egg woman and guy scratching his <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you ever notice how people, what people do with their hands when they're walking? Like that one lady was just doing a weird hook claw when she was walking. <laughs> it sucks <laughs> when they got stuff in their hands, because that's like a cop out. Like, yeah, you're holding the phone. That's not your normal. I want to see. This dog is so Dude, puppy. that's adorable. Puppy? Gotta be a puppy, right? No, that's fully grown. Yeah, look at all that hair. Oh yeah, look at those old eyes. Right. That's just a tiny little guy. Don't forget to let us know your go-to McDonald's order. What do you, I thought those guys were writing dog's one. dog's peeing. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much of a- Hey, Sean, the dog's peeing. Yeah, this one year birthday is pretty legit. I basically am a one year old. Hey, dog peeing. Dog pee on the thing. <laughs> look at his old eyes. Anywho, I interrupted you, I apologize. I'm sorry, I'm a jerk, I'm worthless. Are you a McDoob man? Are you a McChick-Chick? Nuggets. Three. 
nugs, fries. If you're getting like the McCafe stuff and shakes, cut it out. Yeah, shoe be gone. Remember the McSalad shakers where you'd put the dressing in it and you'd shake it like you were jerking off a giraffe? <laughs> Which has always been a dream of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't endorse. <laughs> Eat it, bitch. It's always good. If you guys haven't seen yet, I'm running the Chicago Marathon and I only need a couple more hundred dollars for my $1,500 goal for Gilda's Club Chicago. If cancer has kicked someone's ass in your family and you're fucking pissed at cancer, like I am, I really hate cancer. Cancer is, you know what cancer is? Cancer is like... The cancer of diseases? Yeah. <laughs> cancer is the Monday of the days of the week. That's Monday of the diseases. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. No one's ever been like, oh, it's Monday! Cancer is the O'Duels. Cancer is a hand job. Yeah, that's so true. I guess a hand job is still good. <laughs> Cannot thank you guys enough for donating some. Can you believe how much they've donated so far? I know. I, in so 24 hours, sweet. I got half of it. Like, dude, Sixers, they're kings. Anything, anything could happen to me, and I'd be like, well, I don't even need life insurance. These guys will take care yeah, of Yeah, they're seriously you the guys are insane. Best, dude. I want to smack this goal. I want to say, F you to cancer, and I want to say thank you to you guys for helping me do that. My marathon is on October 8th, 26 miles. I'm not changing my diet. Life's about balance. If you donate $25 or more, I am writing your name all over my body. Well, somewhere mm. on my body, and then he's writing it. Click on the link below to donate. You guys have seriously been insane. I, I know I keep saying it, but I'm Should I, I already start away. writing them? Yeah, grab, you grab just that have sharpie. To not shower? Right, that grab part, that sharpie. Body part? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to keep my legs completely unclean. <laughs>